This AI creates realistic images, videos, people, and might even help you find your soulmate all in one place. It's a new player in the industry, but it's seriously powerful. Let me show you what it can do. I've never showed this tool on my channel. As you can see, this tool is called SoulGen, and you can find link in the description below if you'd like to access it. So first, let me show you all the tools available, what you can do with this tool, and then we'll generate a few results, a few outcomes, so you can basically see what is the, the quality and then you can decide if you would like to test it by yourself or not. Here is a quick video showing you exactly what you can create with let's say just a reference image and here you can see all the features. So first one, create portrait of someone lookalike so you can use the face and then basically recreate the same person and have consistent characters. You can edit your images, you can remove certain parts, change hairstyle, change colors, change clothes, things like this. You can just edit all your images that you have. Then you can explore never-ending images, so you can expand your images, you can create outpainting. So in this case, if you have an image that is cropped and you would like to have a full image, then you can use it and it will generate the missing details. Now the next part is that you can create real soulmate with imagination. So you've seen a few tools like this already on my channel. So this is a tool that allows you to do the same thing but gives you even more than that. So it's not only about creating your soulmates but also about creating videos and anything in between. And here is how to do it in three steps. So you just log into your account, you use your description or prompt and then you create it. So this is pretty much self-explanatory. There is one more thing that is not so obvious about this tool and is that you can create not safe for work content and I will also show you how but I will not show this content on, on YouTube of course. And you can also access mobile application if you would like to use it on your phone. So it's quite handy in my opinion. So let me show you what it looks like inside. We are inside, we have the first tool, which is basically you can create people. So we have realistic, dream twin or anime. So you pick your style, you can write your prompts, whatever you want. In this case, I would just pick something simple. So a woman smiling. The good thing is that when you write your prompt, you can get a few ideas or a few improvements. So for example, you have no idea how to write your whole prompt. You can just start writing picture and then it will give you a few options in terms of what kind of prompt you can create. A few of them will be probably more dangerous, but in this case, let's just leave it as it is. So we have a woman smiling. Then you pick a picture, of course. It's optional step, so it's not that you have to do it, but you would like you can just pick a reference picture or upload the reference picture as well. So in this case, let's just use this one, for example. And then you can pick a style. So I have visionary, realistic, or dream. And then aspect ratio, of course, we have two to three. And then we have three to two and number of images, one, four, or nine. In most cases, I'm picking four. And you simply hit create. So this is quite self-explanatory. I will show you all the tools and how to use them. I will show you all the generations because I have all generations in one place. So it's just easier for me to showcase all of them. So this is the first tool that you can use on this website. Then you have the edit tool. So you can remove objects. And to remove objects, you can just pick whatever image you have. For example, in this case, we can have a Superman. And then you can simply remove certain things. So for example, you can remove, let's say, his logo on the shirt, right? You pick a model, number of images, and then you simply hit remove object and that should be pretty much it in many cases your generation will be ready in a few seconds as you can see already it's 86 percent 88 89 90 so it takes just a few seconds to really get your thing removed so in this case we see there is no logo anymore on his chest so this is quite handy if you would like to remove literally anything then you can of course animate it you can create a video so you just simply hit animation but we'll go to this in a second so this was the first part was basically remove object and you can also extend the image as well so let's for example pick this image right now we want to expand it further so let me choose the image and put it somewhere like that and now we just write what we want to see so woman in a park something like that woman in the park number of images let's pick four and then we just simply hit create and we'll see results in a second again as you can see it's incredibly fast i've never seen you know such fast generations it's 90 percent already sometimes it, it takes I would say between one minute to two minutes to create whatever you want to create. As you can see, I was just talking and then we have the whole image ready. So we see clearly that it's the same girl and we can see that she has different clothing in each photo and we see part behind her. So again, perfect if you would like to expand your pictures or images and 
add more details to them. So this was the second option. Now face swap is another option that you have. And in this case, let's just pick the video that we have here. And then we can just pick the face that we would like to see in the outcome. So we have the original video, then we have the video here. We pick the model standard, advanced or advanced two. In most cases, I will be just picking advanced two. And face, I usually turn it on and we simply hit create. I will show you the result from it in a second because this is in one folder with everything else. Then the next feature is human modeling. So here you can upload your image, for example, this one, and now you can describe what you would like this person to do. So in this case, let's pick, for example, this resolution, and let's say one one is walking in a park. Something very simple, something self-explanatory, and then it will create images. So it's gonna be, let's say four images again. Let's hit generate. And then again, it will take around 30 seconds to one minute to create your image. And when it's one is ready, we can just download them or use them in whatever way you see fit. So here is the result. We can see that it's exactly the same girl in different settings. We have different backgrounds, but still she is walking in a park. So let's say we still see that all of them are parks. Some of them look more fancy than others, but all of them are parks. So now you can just download it or edit them further. If you'd like to remove something from background or add something to the background. So this is quite easy. Now, video generator is something that they recently added, and this is probably the most important part for most of us. So here we have image to video. You can upload your image here or pick an image from your creation. So for example, we pick from the creation. Let's say we pick this image maybe. And now we can say whatever, for example, a woman is talking and looking straight, whatever. This is just a very simple prompt. You can also use face swap here, but in this case, I just wanted to create something very simple. And then next part is of course, text to video. So here you write your prompt, you, you can pick an image again or tag mode. So in tag mode, you have a little bit more options. So you can pick a photo, then gender, and then you can pick a pose and then all the details, hairstyle, clothes, scene, hair color, stuff like that. And you can create your video in this way. And text mode, you just write your prompt and you unleash your imagination. And before we go to the last part, which is basically soul chat, let me show you the generations. So basically what I created, here we have my creations, and now we can see a few creations that I did. So here were images, it was basically a woman smiling and I was using, of course, the reference model here. Here we have all of them. We have the first one, the second one, the third one, and the last one. In my opinion, all of them look all right. They look good. And of course we can see there is a lot of filters, but still they look quite good in my opinion. So this is one example. Here we have the next one. So again, I used a reference photo, as we can see here, style realistic, and then we have a woman smiling, and here we have four generations. So here we have all of them, and here is the first one individually, the second one, here is the third one, and the last one. Probably my favorite one is the third, although I also like symmetric clothes. So in this case, and the second one is also a good choice. In my opinion, it looks very nice. So there's another generation, looks good. Here we have the next one, for example. We have a woman smiling. Again, I was using a reference here and I use visionary style. Here we have the woman, here we have the reference image, and here we have all the pictures. So four of them, here is the first one, the second one, the third one, and the last one. In my opinion, all of them look good. Probably my favorite one is the first one in a park. Everything looks all right. Her shirt looks all right. So all details are. And here is the face swap that we were creating a few minutes ago. So as you can see right now, it's completely the same person that we had in a photo, but she's exactly dancing like this person in a video. So right now you can see there is no problem whatsoever. You can face swap literally any dancer you would like to if you have permission to do so. So now it's not really an issue anymore to hire someone to record videos for you. And then you just face swap yourself with this person and have content that is ready to be published everywhere. Now, here is another example where I just changed his hairstyle. So you cannot see that much difference here, but here you can see more of a difference where I removed his Superman logo. So again, it looks good. We can see that, you know, it's completely removed. There is no problem with this image whatsoever. Here we have the next generation where we have this woman walking in a park. It's still all right. We can see maybe she is not walking 100% naturally, but the generation is not that bad. There is also like a very specific filter to it. So it looks all right. It is a nice generation in my opinion. 
Here we have the next one where this girl is just talking and she's there just talking to us. I used the reference image, this one, and then a simple prompt, a woman talking. And this is the result. We can see the part behind her leaves are moving. She's uh, actually speaking. So this is a nice video. And I also tried something more weird. So in this case, I had this guy and I tried just to replace his face. So this is the outcome. I'm I'm not really fan of it, but I wanted to show it because it just looks funny. Here is the next generation where I wanted to make her look sad. She's not looking sad, but it's the same person that I was creating. So I use the image for the reference. I use modeling and here we have the outcomes. So here is the first one, the second one, the third one. And the last one all of them in my opinion look good you can let me know in the comment section below which one is your favorite but nevertheless all of them look good so this is a nutshell what you can do with this tool and the last thing is the soul chat so soul chat allows you to chat with so many models that are created here on this website you just pick your model and then you can chat with them and you can even have a call with them so let me pick something let's for example talk with isabella and here you can see that we have a few options to chat. We can see her personality, her job, stuff like that. We can ask for photos, we can have a call. So here is how you can have all these chats. I don't want to chat that much on YouTube, but I just show you that it is possible here. So in my opinion, this is a new player. I didn't present this tool on my channel yet. So this is the first video I created with them. And right now I, I just encourage you to try it out, test it by yourself and let me know in the comment section below what you think and if you like this tool or not. And if you'd like to learn how to generate images, videos, discover the latest AI tools, or discover how to make money by posting AI videos and make, for example, $200 per video, make sure to watch the video that you can see on the screen right now. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.